Hey guys, um, this this feels very, very strange for me. I haven't filmed a YouTube video in, I think, a little over a year. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of come back on here and tell you guys I'm still alive. I'm still here. I still... This is going to come across very kind of, you know, not with how things have been. But obviously I still do want to do a YouTube, but I just... Let me just update you guys real quick. Uh, as you guys know, the world isn't great right now. There's a lot going on. There's there's a lot of bad stuff happening in the world right now. Uh, the main one being everything COVID. I don't know how much I can say about that on YouTube. So I'm going to kind of just leave it at that. That is, that is a big issue. That's something that we're all dealing with individually. Um, on top of that, I have been... Mentally, 2020 has been the worst year of my life. I'm going to be honest. I just need. I want to. I want to talk about this, and I just want to. I want to get that out there. I just want to. <laughs> I want to talk about how how my life's been this year. Um. My relationship nearly was nearly destroyed. Um. I'm not going to go too much into that. It's 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 fine. We're good now. Everything is fine and good. That sucked. I had a family member who was dealing with a lot of addictive struggles. Um. Uh, and I, not too long ago, just two months ago, only lost a very, very good friend of mine very suddenly due to the, due to their own mental health struggles. So I feel like talking about my own mental health issues right now is, is the best way to get it out there. And almost, almost work on it and be be self aware of it because I've been very kind of, I'm a person who likes to go 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 go, not worry about anything, not think about anything because in my mind I'm like everything's fine, everything will sort itself out. But but I don't think that was the correct way to go about things. So I've been I've been struggling with my mental health. I've missed YouTube. I've just almost kind of lost a passion for it for a long period of time. I didn't know what I wanted my channel to be. I felt like my reactions were were ridiculous. I, I felt like people didn't really didn't really care for my content. To be honest. They they didn't um they didn't care about my content and that's fine. I'm not again sitting here going boo hoo why won't anyone watch my videos because sometimes it's the best thing. Uh, a point I will bring up is again due to my mental health, I am a very anxious person. I have serious depressive episodes, so that sucks. Sometimes it's just really, really hard to sit down, have the camera in front of myself and just just talk nonsense because I feel like an awful lot of my comments are negative and an awful lot of things are are bad and that for my own mental health doesn't help and I know people are going to be sitting here probably watching this now and going well why are you making this video but it's so hard to explain I love YouTube I love filming things I love editing I just I love the whole feeling of, of making a YouTube video but I don't feel like I have the the, the it's going to sound ridiculous, the mental strength to almost get such ne so much negativity all the time. A good example I'll give is my experience meeting Britney Spears. Uh, I put that video up a long time ago, I think 2018. People were, were almost kind of attacking me. People were who were fans of Britney. I'm still a very big fan of Britney, but an awful lot of people were saying that I was the bad person. I was going in expecting far too much. Whatever, you're entitled to your own opinion. I know what my experience was. I know how I feel about Britney Spears and how I did at the time. Um, but again, that's, that's not what the point of the video is. My point of the video is today is just giving you guys an update on my life and how things have been. Lockdown wise has been pretty sucky. Uh, again, an awful lot of people have gone through the same thing I'm going through right now. I'm sure it's, it's much harder where people are right now because lockdown has been here in Ireland anyway. Lockdown was very intense for a long, long time. I think it went through February to just about maybe June I think June or July is when we started kind of easing things off and that was a long long time that I hadn't seen my family so again that didn't help with the mental health issues that I was having because I'm so incredibly close to my family and not being able to see them for that length of time was really affecting me another thing was my job got so intensely difficult 
because of lockdown, we had customers coming in constantly. There was so much to do. So we didn't have a manager. So my workplace was hectic. My at home life was hectic because I couldn't see my family. My relationship was very kind of unsure at, at, a, at a time. We're good now. We're really, really good now. At least I hope so. Um, again, the issue I had with my friend, which I don't want to sound dramatic, but it did. It traumatized me. I'm still learning to deal with it on a day to day basis. That that has to have been the hardest thing I've ever gone through. Uh, I, I don't feel comfortable going into it. I don't feel like it's it's up to me to talk about it, really, if I'm honest, because again, we were very good friends, childhood best friends, knew this person for the longest time, was a soul sister, to be honest. But again, I, I don't want to upset the family or anyone else who knew this person by speaking too much about it. Um, but I really, really do want to get back into filming YouTube videos for some positivity, what I will say is during this whole weird, weird time, I built my own gaming PC. I'm so proud of it. It's right there from scratch. I made my own computer. That was a big, big goal of mine for the longest time. So I'm sure maybe somehow I can find a way to implement that into my YouTube channel. I don't know if anyone's going to want to see that. I can do gaming videos. I can, I can just be a lot more productive on YouTube if that is what people are looking for I'm not gonna sit here and go I'm gonna definitely be back I'm gonna be more routine because routine became almost scary for me because in my mind I was like oh my god I haven't uploaded a video people are gonna hate me how am I gonna come back to YouTube uh, that was my main my main almost kind of mental block for this my main block was my last video I'm almost sure was was it my Britney Spears video no it was not two years ago it, it was a while ago, but I know that people don't really, people don't care too much online, internet wise about myself and they don't care about my channel and that's fine. That's cool. But I think mentally now I need to focus on why I'm doing YouTube and why I'm enjoying it. For a long time, it was more so how many views can I get? Um, how can I do a reaction video, but also keep it monetized? Cause I was like, I want to make money from YouTube, but that was never the case. Okay, that's a lie. It was it was the case for a short time. Whereas now I just feel like if I'm ever wanting to sit down and make a video, have it maybe not make so much sense like this video, I'm going to do that. Just because I enjoy it and YouTube, my YouTube channel is me. It's it's what I'm interested in. I don't feel like there needs to be a steady, steady flow of what videos need to be. Um, again, reaction videos were a big, big part. I love reaction videos and I might come back to them. I don't know who knows. Um, Bratz dolls. I love Bratz dolls. I don't care. I'm sorry. Yeah, I get it. I'm 24 years old and I collect Bratz dolls. That's, that's just something that makes me happy. And again, I think people are far too critical of what others are doing. Um, there's a YouTuber that I've been watching a lot of lately and I don't know if any of my viewers are going to be familiar with her. Uh, Pink Sparkles. Her name is Samantha. I actually watched one of her videos last night and she was talking about her own mental health issues and she was just being almost, I hate the term, but like free spirit, it didn't care, was was just, just do your own thing. And I think that's something I'm slowly learning. I'm still quite young, still in my early 20s. I feel like year by year, I'm learning something different. I am slowly becoming more of the person I hope to be. So that's really all this video needed to be. I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that my YouTube channel is still here. I am still day by day thinking about it. I wanted to come back here for a long, long time. I just didn't have the, the, the mentality for it, the best mentality for it. Whereas now at the minute, I feel very calm about it. I think I just need to tell myself there's always going to be an opinion. People are always going to have an opinion about you, whether it's good, bad, somewhere in between. People are constantly going to tell you the way they want you to be. And I think, I think now more than ever is a great time to sit down, talk to people. I know that sounds really cliche and really cringe, but do talk to people. If you're feeling bad, talk to someone. If you're having a bad day, it's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have a bad week, month, year. Friends theme song. That was cringe. Ew. But again, that's, that's the kind of person I am. So, uh, if you guys want to want to know anything else, if you guys want to want to see me 
maybe do some gaming videos. I don't know, talk about my experience building a gaming PC or have any more questions or want some updates. Um, yeah, just, I don't know. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what happens this time. I'm gonna see what happens this time with YouTube and hopefully things start to get a lot better for not just myself, but for, for everyone, for the world. Yeah, so I'm gonna sign off now. Bye.